Hey guys, how's it going? Just got done filming my uh, Olight, a bunch of Olight videos. If you haven't watched that, you probably have, but if not, you can check it out. If you're into Olights, I kind of talk about all of them. I should have checked the footage because it's the first time using this camera and I'm not sure about my audio levels and how everything looks and if everything was in focus and sharp, but you know, we're just doing it live. So this video is just gonna be for you guys that are fans of the channel, I guess, or what I'm doing here, or what projects I have coming up, things like that. So I'm gonna be talking about kind of the gear that I'm kind of in review stages of, new stuff that I have planned, stuff that, just, just stuff. Stuff, right? Stuff, like people always ask me questions, like where'd you get that multicam hat? I don't know where you can get this. This one I got at SHOT Show at the FlexFit booth. They, they had them there and I was like, can I have one? And they were like, sure. This is a multicam FlexFit hat, but they do sell. So the FlexFit booth, kind of, I talked to them, they do sell hats in bulk. You gotta buy like, I don't know, 700 of them or something, I think. Uh, and you can get like little, you know, embroideries or designs or logos. And I was thinking about doing a big old order with like a small minimal, like LLOD kind of blended logo, just because I really like this hat. It's just a flex fit. You know, nice nice hat, I wear it a lot. Um, they have it in multicam black too, which would probably be what I would be into. So people ask me a lot of times for merch and clothes and hats and stuff, and I'm kind of like, it's kind of weird to me because I'm like, I'm just some dude, random dude making random videos on YouTube. But it's, it's flattering and I'm honored and I'm humbled for you guys to want to wear my stuff, rep my gear. I, do, I mean, I have a company, I have a holster company, which is my YouTube channel. So I have Last Line of Defense. I make and sell holsters. So I'm kind of a company, I guess. So I kind of get it. But I'm the kind of guy that would never wear a shirt of like some dude. No offense to him. Like I, I like watching YouTube and I like a lot of these dudes videos and I follow them and I appreciate what they do and they're entertaining, but I'm not the type of guy that would wear like one of their shirts. Like, you know, if they had a Smith channel called John Smith, I wouldn't really want to wear a John Smith shirt. Maybe that's just me, but my channel is a little different because it's last line of defense. I named myself my channel that because I kind of wanted to give out info for you guys, last line of defense. I wanted you to be equipped and capable as a last line of defense. I wanted to give you guys tips, hints, gear, options, choices, selections, all that kind of stuff. So last line of defense, I always kind of thought would be kind of a cool brand name. Like I want to wear stuff because you know, I am the last line of defense. Anyway, all that to just answer the simple question of where I got my hat, which is what people ask me all the time. But, Sorry, my dog is chewing on a bone, but he's having a great time. So if you hear little like noises in the background, that's just him, that's him chowing down. So I apologize for that. But back to it. If you are interested, if you would want to purchase a hat, let me know if you would like a regular multicam or multicam black. And that'll at least get the ideas going. It'll get it churning in my head to maybe see if there's enough demand for a hat. So if you're interested in a hat, let me know in the comments below, for real. Like just take a second, scroll down on your iPad or whatever and say, I would totally be into a multicam black hat. Let me know. Thank you for taking the time to do that. You guys have been asking me to do a Polymer 80 build for a long time. I reached out to Polymer 80 uh, and they were kind of like, uh, yeah, we, we got enough media. We're not gonna send you anything probably. Um, and that's cool, I don't, I, don't, I don't blame them. But I see all kinds of little channels getting free Polymer 80s left and right, like they're passing them out like, you know, free samples. But in any case, all that to say, I bought this with my own money. Hey, cool, who ya? Uh, I buy stuff on the channel with my own money sometimes, sometimes I get stuff sent to me. Anyway, I bought one. I'll build it, I'm gonna trick it out, I'm probably gonna put an awesome slide on it, show you guys how the process works, maybe send it off to get stippled. This is the gray version, what that also means is people always ask me for Polymer 80 holsters and I never make holsters for guns that I don't personally own or haven't personally owned because I want, I want to use them. So Polymer 80, gonna build it, gonna test it, gonna see how it is and then after that I'm gonna offer holsters for them. So for all of you guys, and there's been dozens, maybe hundreds of you guys that have asked for Polymer 80 holsters, and I've always kind of been like, yeah, yeah, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. The day, I promise, is coming because now I actually have one. 
On the totally other end of the spectrum, I have in my hands the highest end gun that I have ever laid hands on. This is the Nighthawk Agency Arms collab called the Agent 2. I got it in nine millimeter, just picked it up earlier tonight. And this isn't the review on the gun, obviously. I'm gonna do a review on this gun. Nighthawk, awesome dudes over there. Uh, one of the people kind of working with Nighthawk was a fan of the channel, reached out, asked if I'd be interested in maybe having Nighthawk send me one of these out for review. I don't, it's not, like they didn't just send it to me. Uh, I'm gonna send it back. But it appears that this is brand new. Nobody's, nobody's t and this gun yet. Uh, so I'm gonna run it, gonna shoot it. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and impressions. This is about the highest end gun you can get. But this thing, let me tell you, it is a work of art. It is the nicest gun I've, I've ever laid hands on. The nicest gun I've ever laid eyes on even. So I'm really excited about this. It's, you know, it's not a Glock, it's pretty heavy, it's not probably something I'm gonna carry, but for those that just want the nicest gun out there, I'll get more into the reasons why you might wanna pick up one of these later, but I'm just excited about it. So I wanted to show it to you guys, get the wheels turning in your head so you could ask me some questions, so you could be excited as I am about it. Oh yeah, I forgot, on here also, XH35. All right, I had to switch over, uh, this camera has, two SD card slots in and I had like a little tiny one in the second slot and I actually took the other card out. So I filled up the slot. Sorry, you knew this video was gonna be random coming into this. So I listened to the mic real quick and it wasn't awesome. I don't know if it's this jacket, um, if it's like the zipper or something, but I kinda, kinda got some weird noise. So I apologize if the audio sucks. This is a jacket from Amazon, I don't know. I, I browse random stuff sometimes. Uh, I have, you know, like $600 Arc'teryx jackets and all the new hotness and all the cool stuff. Not to brag, this isn't bragging, but every jacket you can imagine. But sometimes I just like wearing a cheap jacket that looks a certain way. $45 jacket on Amazon. Maybe I'll link to it if you guys are interested. Anyway, back to this. I forgot to mention, we got a Surefire XH35 right down here. This is the new hotness. The, uh, I think I'm recording. It's like flashing that my memory card is full, but I think it's talking about my backup one. So hopefully this is all filming. <laughs> XH35, Surefire is one of Surefire's newest weapon lights here. This is a thousand lumen max vision beams. That means it's very floody. Uh, so it doesn't have a ton of throw, it doesn't have a ton of candela. But I was interested in it. it, has these switches on the bottom that allow you to switch between full thousand lumen or 300 lumen uh, and strobe or not strobe. So this is in the not strobe mode, just a regular light. Uh, we turn the strobe on and we have, whenever we activate it, we have strobe. Uh, cool light. Um, if these take off, if they're popular, I probably will make holsters for them. They won't fit into a standard X300 or X400 holster because the bezel shape is different to work with their, uh, I forget, they have, they have their own holsters, Master Fire Series, kind of weird holsters. I'm not a huge fan of them, but the bezel is different, so they won't work with your standard X300 holsters, unfortunately. But if demand for them is high enough, I probably will offer holsters for them at some point. Anyway, that's going on. I have the Honey Badger, you guys have seen it on my Instagram for sure. I think I've shown it in a video or two on, on YouTube. I haven't had a chance to shoot it yet. I've just been super, super busy making you guys all your holsters that you're ordering. Uh, awesome, thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you for your support if you bought a holster from me. Awesome. Anyways, the Honey Badger, I'm going shooting this weekend. I'm gonna try and go shooting again next weekend. So really kind of put us through his paces, get some footage, get some B-roll, all that stuff. So Honey Badger review coming up, Agent review coming up, CZ P10C review coming up, M&P review I just did. I'm working on some other Glocks, obviously the Polymer 80 like I just mentioned. I'm gonna be talking about other stuff, you know, new stuff that people have been asking about. So this is Gearhead Works Mod 2, uh, adjustable pistol brace. You've seen the Mod 1. I hope I'm getting these names right. I have the Mod 1 on a Chris Vector. The Chris Vector review also coming up as well as the bag that I have it in, the commuter sling. I've been working with a new range bag, the Vertix B range bag. I have a coupon at Vertix. If you don't know, 
25% off. LLOD saves you 25% off anything. So if you wanna pick up pants, jackets, gloves, oh yeah, man, this is, I told you, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in this video. Gloves, Verdict's just released a bunch of gloves. They sent me out a handful of pairs to try out. These are, these are high-end, very nice gloves. These aren't your $15 mechanics gloves, though. I like $15 mechanics gloves, but I like these gloves a lot. So look for some reviews of these gloves coming up. They are for sale on their site now, Vertix. They have some special features, like these are fire resistant. So for those of you that need that type of stuff, check them out. Uh, again, yeah, LLOD saves 25% off over there, saves 25% off of uh, Premier, or 10% off of Premier Body Armor. Like I've mentioned before, I'm working with companies to try and get you guys codes. I'm working with Shooting Surplus. They're the ones who send me out the uh, Honey Badger. They have like a 5% off coupon for everyone right now, save five. But I'm working with them. They're really cool guys. I met Mashasha, I talked about them in the past. But they're, I think they're gonna hook me up with a coupon code for you guys as well, like that I'll have all the time, an LLOD coupon code. I have, you know, I have one at Optics Planet, LLOD5 over there, but Shooting Surplus is gonna get me one. I'm really excited about my relationship with Shooting Surplus because they have all the high-end guns. They're willing to send some of them out to me as loaners. Uh, I'll have access to all kinds of parts through their dealer network and stuff, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be good for my channel, uh, and hopefully I provide them with some value. So, really cool guys, if you're looking at guns, they sell stock guns. If you're looking for tricked out, you know, agencies and stuff like that, full builds, they sell those. If you're looking for the Agent 2, they also sell those, and they have a giveaway. I entered the giveaway myself for an Agent 2 uh, on their site. Shooting Surplus, I'll link to them. I, I'm. I think I always link to them now in the footer description below. In the footer below as well, I just kind of link to companies that I have relationships with. Some of them are affiliate links, some of them are just links, some of them are coupon codes with no affiliate links, so whatever. Most of the companies that I kind of have some type of relationship with, I put those in the, in the video descriptions on all of my videos. So if you're ever wondering like, oh, I want an ammo company that you know Mike lines up with, uh, Chief Ammos, who I'm working with now, they send me out some ammo for reviews in a lot of these guns and different loads and weights so I can test a variety of ammo. Uh, but yeah, video description below is where you're always gonna find my coupon codes, where you're always gonna find kind of my relation relationships in the industry. And the thing is, the thing is, unlike a lot of people out there, <laughs> I won't name names, but unlike some people out there that'll just work with any company that's willing to send them stuff or any company that's willing to give them money, which is a lot of sellouts in the gun industry, unfortunately. I don't do YouTube as my primary job. I'm not trying to just make a buck here and a buck there just, just to survive. I'm picky and choosy, and I only work with companies that I line up with. So if, if there's a company and I recommend them, I'm not saying any company I ever wear randomly is a great company, but if there's a company, if they're in my video description, if I recommend them, if I, if I talk them up, it's because I know the people there. I know the company structure. I know a lot of times the values and the morals, and a lot of times I'm actually have developed kind of friendships with a lot of these companies. So you can know that I will never sell out unless you know somebody offers me millions of dollars and maybe I'll sell out, I don't know. But right now I'm not a sellout because like I said before, I have, I have, I'm a full-time, I have a full-time job. I'm a web developer, that's my full-time nine to five. I make other income from selling holsters and YouTube is like a pet project of mine. So it's not worth a little bit of money for me to sell out. So. All that to say, if I recommend a company, if I work with a company, chances are I've talked to them on the phone, in person, through a series of emails, whatever, and I, I like them, I line up with them. I'm at the point now uh, where, believe it or not, like a relatively small channel like me, I think I have 80,000 something subscribers, so I'm not a huge channel, but a channel like me now, I have enough influence to kind of get a discount or get for free or get, you know, at cost or whatever, most things that I'm interested in. So I'm not just grabbing anything that people send at me because if I, if I did, my whole house would be filled. I get emails every day of people trying to pitch me, trying to pay me money to review this and that, and I haven't. Still to this day, I haven't taken a dime from a single company to make a single video. Granted, they send me stuff and if I like it, I'll review it. If I don't like it, it never sees the light of day. I never. I never put a product on my channel 
that I don't personally like and I don't personally run. Unless I think it might be an option for you, in which case I'll say, actually I'm gonna talk about something right here that I'm not gonna run probably myself, but they sent it to me and I see the value and I see it might appeal to some people, it doesn't appeal to me. So if it's something that doesn't appeal to me but I think it might appeal to you, I'll mention it maybe sometimes, but for the most part stuff on this channel is all me. I didn't know this, this video was gonna be such a rambling rambling video. But I ask, I get asked time to time about that and I just want you to know I haven't taken a cent from any company to, to, to feature anything on this channel yet. Having said that, if you, you know, buy something from Amazon with my link, or I have a few affiliate links down below, if you buy something from Amazon, for example, through my link, I do get an affiliate commission. So, doesn't cost you anything, helps support the channel, that's out there. If you, if you hate the idea of that, then you know, don't click my links. I usually list what it is so you can Google it yourself and find it. But obviously, clicking the links is easy. You just click it, it's there, boom, buy it. We all win. That brings me to another thing I wanted to talk about actually because I, I get a fair amount of emails asking like what my Patreon is. People just assume that I have a Patreon. They're like, oh, I'd love to support you. What's your Patreon? And that flatters me. I'm, I mean, it's, it's very humbling. It's very awesome. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Everything, I, I appreciate, I don't wanna call you guys fans because that sounds so weird, but I appreciate if you take your time to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos, that's awesome. But Patreon, I don't know how I feel about Patreon. YouTube is killing gun channels as you guys have probably seen if you're, if you're YouTube watchers, killing monetization and killing views and killing entirely channels sometimes. Uh, so that's kind of scary. Uh, and if I ever wanna make YouTube kind of a thing, then I'll need to think of some monetary structure where I am making a living off of it. And Patreon is obviously a very clear cut way to do that. So this video is gonna be asking for a lot of interaction from you guys. If you like Patreon, if you think Patreon's a good idea, let me know. I'm kind of, I don't love Patreon, the idea of it, but at the same time I kind of do. For a lot of people, YouTube is their entertainment. They don't watch cable or movies all the time or something, they flip on YouTube and watch their favorite channels. Maybe I'm one of your favorite channels. And then in that sense, they're like, I wanna pay you. You know, Essentially when you're watching a TV show, when you're going to a movie, you're paying actors and actresses and all these people that you, know, that you don't really wanna put money in their pockets, but you're essentially paying them I understand that you would want to give back to the people that entertain you or give you information or valuable information, anything like that. So I get the idea of Patreon. I've just kind of always steered clear from it. Um, but I'd be curious to know as you guys, as a YouTube watcher, as a YouTube content creator, supporter type person, let me know because I'm really interested in your thoughts and I won't, I won't be offended if you're like, never make a Patreon, Patreon sucks or I don't know why you would want that or I don't know why I would give you my hard earned money to help you make videos. Like, I kind of I kinda get it. So feel free to express those uh, opinions down below. I won't get butthurt about it. But at the same time, I'm very interested in if that's something that you would like to support. If it is like what kind of features or what like rewards I guess you would want. I have this uh, pocket clip on my finger if you're wondering. What kind of rewards you'd want. I have some ideas in my head like if I made a Patreon, maybe I could give away flashlights or gear that I just like don't use or have replaced and that'll give you a reward and incentive to get kind of like gear that I've actually used. Not like, not like oh Michael Jordan <laughs> shoes, nothing like that. Like cause I'm not a status like that, but just like cool gear that I've used that I don't have a use for anymore, maybe I could give to you guys as a reward type incentive, something like that. So I've thought of some ideas like that. I don't want it to take more of my time. So Patreon, a lot of people are like, oh, Patreon gets you know videos and special, to blah, 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 blah. I, I hardly have time to make this video on my regular full YouTube channel, much less make specific content for like the three Patreons that I have. Nothing against you three Patreons, it, theoretical Patreons because uh, I would appreciate you. Like I said guys, it's getting late. So this rambling is getting into like more delirium mode. Uh, but, but it's good. If you like rambling, it's good I guess. Whatever, maybe I'll put these. Yeah, let me know again. Comments below, let me know if you like this kind of video that's just kind of rambling and talking about life and channel updates and that kind of stuff because 
they're easy to make because rambling's pretty easy. When I first started making YouTube videos, while, while I'm on the topic of rambling, when I first started making YouTube videos, I was so uncomfortable in front of the camera. And now I don't think I'm super comfortable, but I'm like more comfortable. I can just kind of talk. At first I was like, this is so weird. I'm like, I'm in this room by myself, talking to myself essentially to this camera. It's so weird, but now I've kind of gotten used to it and I've just embraced the weirdness. So if you like these kind of videos, let me know. If you comment on this video like 10 times answering my questions, no, no worries, man. I, I asked for all these comments, so don't feel bad. Don't feel, like a, don't feel like a nerd if you comment like five times because I appreciate answers to every question that I've asked so far. One more topic that brings me into is YouTube B channel. I never really wanted to start a B channel because like I just mentioned, I hardly have enough time for my A channel. At the same time, there's a lot of stuff that people want to see that isn't really my core. They want to see tech reviews like my Lumix G9 I just got, maybe the lenses I use, maybe my lighting and setup or like the old cameras I use or the B-roll or filming techniques or laptops, monitors, computers maybe working out if you're inter interested in it, or my diet, or my fitness routine. There's a lot of, I have a lot of interests that are unrelated to guns and gear. Kind of my channel's like guns, gear, training, mindset, and it kind of goes into a little bit of like truck, camping, survival. That, it kind of all is related to me, but like, a cell phone review is completely unrelated. So I've always kind of thought about starting like a B channel just to throw everything else, like last line of whatever else I feel like putting on it. So the second reason that I might wanna do that is because channels get deleted. And if my channel gets deleted, I don't have friends and connections. I'm kind of getting some friends and connections in the YouTube world, but I don't really have friends and connections that will be like, oh man, Mike's channel got deleted. This is his new backup channel, go check it out. So if my channel just got deleted all of a sudden, I'd be gone from your lives. So I, I'm, I might start a B channel and I don't know how much content I'll throw on it, but it'll be like a backup channel. You can subscribe to it in case my channel gets deleted or something. Because just like everybody else, every single one of my videos, the second I upload it, it gets demonetized. And a lot of times I like resubmit it for manual review. And a lot of times then it'll like become monetized again. But the, mo the, the money I make from YouTube is very, small, like I think I might have mentioned before. But anyways, B channel, both to toss up random stuff that's unrelated to this channel, but stuff I'm interested in, uh, but also as an outlet in case my channel gets deleted or something. So let me know your thoughts on B channel, if you want me to start one, if you do, what types of interests that you know I have that you might wanna see videos of. Uh, I mentioned some of them, but yeah, let me know. Looking for feedback, looking for a lot of feedback in this video. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, I get items sent to me. This is a Kickstarter. So this is the same, uh, this is the same person that reached out to me for the Amobilis jacket Kickstarter, which I kind of just mentioned in a video. This is a little messenger type bag that they have. I'm not gonna go through all the features. I gave him a bunch of feedback on this bag. It's, so it's just a little too small for my uses. I have a Vertex commuter sling. That's kind of my sling bag that I'm gonna do a whole review on later. And that's bigger holds my vector and body armor and some other stuff. And that's my jam. And that will get a full video. But this guy, he explained it to me. He said, I got a Kickstarter going on. It's going on right now. So I'll link to it down below. And I was just kind of like, you know, you could change some things, like maybe make a little Velcro compartment in here that I could stash a little gun, change the layout a little bit. And he, it's a Kickstarter. So they like feedback. So if this is a bag, that looks like something you would be into. It's a small messenger style bag, has kind of an interesting little uh, magnetic type clip here, some pockets. It's well laid out for like, you know, it's more for someone that carries an iPad as their main jam. It doesn't fit like a big MacBook or I have like a big iPad Pro that it doesn't fit. So it's smaller. So. If you have a smaller notebook and an iPad and you like bike into work or something, I could see how this could be a fit for you. But again, like I said, if it's not something that I totally is my jam, I'm not gonna do a full video on it, but maybe I'll toss it into a video like this. So anyway, this is a Kickstarter. I like supporting Kickstarters because I like entrepreneurial guys. I like people that have a vision and a lot of people hate on Kickstarter. They're like, oh, if they believed in it, why wouldn't they just take out a business loan and blah, 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 yada, yada. 
whatever, man. Like, Kickstarter is cool. Kickstarter is a great uh, way. It's free advertisement too. So I'm fully in support of Kickstarter. I've backed a lot of random Kickstarters over the years. Anyway, this is a Kickstarter bag from a really nice guy that I've had a lot of conversations with. Um, and he sent it out. And I was straight up with him. I was like, it's not something I would see myself using just because I carry a bigger laptop. If I want to carry a messenger bag, I might want to throw like a folder in it. But Maybe some of my audience is into it. It's a well-made bag. He put his heart and soul into it. I gave him some ideas, mostly to change this little interior felt panel to Velcro. And he said he's gonna look into it, and that's a mod that he's gonna try and make. So he may do that. Anyway, if you're interested in that, I'll link to it below. Check it out. Yeah. So I did, I've been kind of chatting with another YouTuber, uh, Greenlight Shooting, Chad over there. Really cool dude. He's. I'm out of frame here. Oh, this is the Amazon jacket anyway. So he sent me over, I'm gonna send him a holster. I kinda like traded with him for his sweatshirt. He came out with this little uh, sweatshirt, which is kind of like a slim fit. He did a whole video on it. I'll link to it below if I remember, but if not, Green Light Shooting is his channel name. He does like photo and video for a living. So his content is just high quality. It's what I wish I had the time and skill to do, but I don't. So if you're looking for really high quality content, he's a dude that's a lot like me, just a regular dude that's into guns and gear. Check him out, give him a follow, green light shooting. Anyway, he has developed a sweatshirt, which is cool. Uh, it's his little brand. Uh, I I feel like a jerk. I forget what the brand is. Give, give Rise, I think. Does it say? Yeah, Give Rise, okay. So Give Rise, it's cool. Uh, high quality hoodie has, sorry my dog's growling at something, um, slim fit. The thing that kind of makes this a little unique is inside of this pocket there is a little, probably can't really tell, it's a little pocket, it's a little mag pocket. So inside of your regular looking hoodie, you can have a little spot for your mag. It doesn't necessarily apply to me because my holsters carry an extra mag, but I could see how it would be a good fit for a lot of people. Anyways, this hoodie, if you're into a hoodie, if you're into supporting another uh, gun YouTuber, that's, I like him a lot. Like he's a dude that, you know, if we lived in the same state or something, uh, I could probably be friends with him. And I can't say that a lot of, about a lot of gun, gun YouTubers. They're just not really, they're not really my speed, not really my style, but he's one. So Chad, really cool guy, green light shooting, check him out. We've been talking, kind of kicking around the idea of some collab videos and stuff. So yeah, that might happen. That might happen. Okay, that's it. Woo! Rambling, rambling done. I rambled too long, now it's late. Now I don't have time for the other stuff. I wanted to do tonight. Thanks, YouTube. Grr. But I think that's all I wanted to talk about. So I wanted to talk about it. Again, please comment below. Like, I really do appreciate your feedback, especially on on all my videos. Comment on all my videos. Say hey. I think comment likes it. If you have the time, comment. I like this video. This was a cool video. Or can you do this? Can you review that? I like gear recommendations. I can't know everything. I can't read all the articles. I can't follow all the companies. So I appreciate you. A lot of the stuff that I find out about, I find out about from you. You're like, comment down below. I'd love to see a review on such and such product. And oftentimes it's a product I never even heard of. So I Google it, check it out. Sometimes it's cool. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna review that. But all that to say, feedback is great. You guys know more stuff than I do in some areas. I appreciate it. And then feedback, yeah. If you think I shouldn't make videos like this because I'm just like too delirious, I don't know why you clicked this because I'm pretty sure whatever title I made would make that pretty obvious. But let me know. Let me know. You know, I do this for you guys and me. I like talking about gear. Sorry, it's a new camera, so I'm like worried about the focus. So I'm looking over here a lot to like make sure I'm in frame and in focus and the exposure's right and all that stuff. Trey's gonna go outside and bark at some deer or something. So that's it, I'm gonna cut this video off. Thank you again, I appreciate you watching my videos. I hope you're great. Until next time, man, and woman, take care.